Well, before Beto O'Rourke was a presidential candidate, he was a congressman from Texas, his hometown, well, El Paso, the scene of this weekend's white supremacist terror attack. Now O'Rourke left the campaign trail to go back to his hometown and mourn with his community. His impassioned responses to the president and to reporters went viral, putting the 2020 hopeful back in the spotlight. Ryan Nobles reports. Beto O'Rourke out of the public eye today for the first time since learning of the mass shooting in his hometown. Next, Beto O'Rourke. Just minutes before taking the stage at a candidate forum in Las Vegas. The gravity of the moment appearing to sink in as he addressed the crowd. Keep that on the battlefield. Do not bring it into our communities. It would be the first hint into the politician's raw reaction to the tragedy, a decision to not hold back. His public responses since that moment have been a raw mix of sadness, offering comfort, and most prominently, anger, specifically directed at President Trump. Let's be very clear about what is causing this and who the president is. He is an open, avowed racist. In the days since the shooting, the former city councilman, congressman, and now presidential candidate has visited victims in hospitals, encouraged the community to give blood, and channeled the community's outrage through his visible platform. At times, his frustration uh, boiling over. He's, he's been calling Mexican immigrants rapists and criminals. Um, I, I, I don't know, like members of the press, what the <laughs> Hold on a second. And that approach has led to attacks from the Trump administration. Vader of work from the Vanity Fair magazine cover to the Vanity Project candidacy out there screaming and cursing about President Trump. That doesn't heal a single soul. That doesn't help prevent another mass shooting. They're raising their profile. But O'Rourke is making it clear he stands by what he says. Since launching his presidential campaign, O'Rourke has struggled to recapture the energy surrounding his 2018 Senate run, consistently down in the polls since and falling behind in the money race. And as of today, his campaign has no clear indication of what comes next. And while he's not interested in talking about the campaign, it is clear O'Rourke has no plans to back down from this fight. We have to show that that is the exception, not the rule, but that will become the new normal if we allow it to be. If we don't stand up.